Hey there, it's Kevin. Um, sorry about Friday. I don't know if uh, Kristen, you mentioned, emailed me that she wasn't able to get online. Uh, I apologize for the breakdown. I thought I set up the meetings to be reoccurring, and maybe that didn't work out. I tried to send out evites uh, about an hour before the meeting just to make sure that we were on the same site, but uh, I apologize if there was a breakdown in communication. Uh, Stephen did uh, a was in on the call so it was me and Steven and I kind of a I caught him up uh, regarding uh, our strategy as far as this research is concerned and what we had discussed the prior Friday uh, I think on February 5th I think I can't remember the date I don't have the calendar in front of me anyway um, you may have received an email from me um, with a variety of links to a bunch of articles uh, that I found some of the stuff that was relevant to the uh, 20th century uh, schools that I was assigned to uh, as well as in the process of investigating finding some stuff that may be relevant to some of you guys as far as uh, culture and politics and technology and stuff so um, if you did not get uh, the email from ksharpdallas at gmail.com those are links to PDFs that I saved on on um, Google Docs uh, so uh, it, the articles that I wanted to introduce to you guys are on here as well as some stuff that that you might find relevant um, I know that there was something in there about charter school reform uh, there was some articles about uh, school boards the relevancy of school boards and 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 how that impacts uh, uh, politics and stuff and there was a bunch of other things that you might find uh, relevant to what you're trying to do anyway so I'm gonna move on um, I'm going to bring to your attention two articles that, um, in regards to the 20th century, uh, that I found to be the most popular, or or the most rel, excuse me, the most relevant. Here are the documents that I've saved on Google Docs. If you have any problems opening up these PDFs, let me know. Um, but the first one is a 30-page uh, article uh, resource that was published in 2001. And what it does is focuses on how in the beginning of the 21st century, or excuse me, in the beginning of the 20th century uh, in Iowa, how they were trying to consolidate the rural schools. They were all spread out, and uh, the urban schools, uh, quote-unquote, the urban schools in Iowa was trying to consult or uh, consolidate all of the um, uh, urban, the rural schools, and it failed miserably. And this article does a great great job not only um, painting the landscape and explaining how, what things were like uh, transitioning from the 19th century into the 20th century transitioning from the agrarian society to an industrial society and things like that um, but it also talks about the uh, powerful uh, feeling of community um, and and the resistance to um, embracing change and the resistance to losing that uh, autonomy. Uh, so I thought that this was a really, really good illustration of how uh, history is repeating itself, how schools always struggle to change, uh, whether it's political or, or you know, cultural or, or anything else like that. There, it's a very, very in-depth, um, uh, very in-depth look at how school change and, and transitioning from, in, from culture to culture. Uh, and, and so again, published in 20 or 2001, uh, talks about the uh, transition of Iowa schools as a metaphor um, uh, from the 19th century to the 20th century. Uh, so again, I thought it covered a lot of ground. The other article that I want to talk about was more current uh, from 2006, uh, written uh, much more uh, in a, a consumer-friendly approach rather than an academic approach. This is published by Time Magazine. Um, and how to bring our schools out of the 20th century. Uh, again, it does a good uh, comparison of the 20th century schools and how we're not um, uh, change, how, how there's a resistance to change and how um, it is still considered to be acceptable to um, uh, remain as a 20th century school. And, and anyway, so I thought it was a good, it's easy to read, it's only seven pages, uh, very, very current, up-to-date, and it's, and it's more, uh, more the way of a, an opinion article. Uh, do they give some specifics? 
a little bit yes but it just again illustrates uh, how arcane I guess you could say uh, schools are to changing so um, anyway those are the two articles that, that, that I felt would be very very uh, effective in what we're trying to accomplish here uh, in regards to schools in the 20th century um, I did find some other articles um, that I thought were a little bit too um, probably too uh, specialized maybe uh, there's this one here schools as change agent in rural Appalachia um, it's a book uh, I I really didn't get a chance to, to dive into it and maybe there might be some relevant chapters or, or, or not however I felt the other articles did a pretty good job to where I didn't have to to um, to dive into that so much uh, organizing schools in pluralist America uh, it's a great uh, comparison or it's a great uh, resource regarding uh, the the culture uh, the variety of cultures in America and and the challenges American schools face because of so many different cultures in, in our in our society in 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 our government or not in not in our government but in our society uh, I tried to look it up some stuff stuff relevant to the impact of uh, disruptors of the 21st century or of the 20th century like the GI Bill um, uh, like the Cold War and stuff there was really really good inside baseball articles and resources but I think that they were a little bit too academic and very very uh, specialized in, and focused in on uh, specific so there wasn't a broad picture thing that's why I like those two articles that I'm recommending how to bring our schools out of the 20th century as well as um, the uh, do, 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 what is it um, the one about Iowa schools anyway so there you have it um, I haven't had a chance to talk to Dave Dave was going to introduce some articles and resources regarding uh, illustrating uh, schools from the agrarian society and, and the industrial uh, industrial revolution more along the way of 19th century schools so I'm not sure if uh, what he has to present but looking forward to hearing from that again this Friday um, we will be looking at more forward-thinking things technology uh, as well as politics and economics and uh, Sunshine will be doing um, culture and so uh, culture society families I think like that so uh, see you guys on Wednesday night if I don't talk to you sooner thanks bye